So Anne, uh, could you explain uh, briefly first what blockchain actually is? So blockchain, put it very simply, it's plumbing. So before, and before I actually go into the details of what that plumbing actually is, I just wanted to set it in context because blockchain um, as an application has risen because of the complexity of the industries and businesses that we're all working in. So in the beginning of time, we had straightforward ledgers. Think about those balance sheets that said a transaction had occurred. John had bought a car from Sally. Car had been purchased, moved on. So those ledgers recorded those transactions. Businesses then became a lot more complex and involved more transactions and more layering across and more players within, that, uh, within those transactions. So it was necessary then to have multiple ledgers that everybody was working against and had to keep up to date and, uh, uh, and keep them level set as such. With that complexity, it became more difficult to control, more difficult to have visibility, more difficult to have a transparency around that. So blockchain, has been, we've been able to step in with blockchain and start applying it as a distribute, where distributed ledgers were occurring to help, uh, help uh, give you better visibility, greater transparency and efficiency around that. So there are four characteristics of blockchain which are really important. The first is the distributed ledger which enables you to uh, view the blockchain, um, collaborate on it and for everybody to have, a, uh, to have a place within it. The second is the cryptographic piece, so where it gives you the privacy, encrypts certain data sets within the blockchain, so there are privacy controls. The third piece is around um, business logic. So this is where you can build in smart contracts and enable you to have transactions which are managed through a contractual place. So for example, inventory has been delivered and it's been viewable, if you talk about it in our context. And then the fourth piece is around um, consensus, which is where people uh, have an ability to verify that the transaction is correct and consensus can happen across many different positions and nodes. So we call it nodes in the industry, but if you think about it as many different ledgers, ledger points, so those transactions are, co are recorded and consensus enables you to, uh, to verify that. And what does all of this mean for the media industry exactly? Well, the media industry, as we know, has been massively challenged with trust, with transparency, with its ability to collaborate, with its ability to provide you with a solution that people can feel confident is delivering what you, what you want to see. So blockchain can step in and start taking particular transaction points and giving you greater visibility, giving you more verifiable results, giving you more efficiency. There's a couple of things to be aware of in that. That doesn't necessarily mean to say you take out all the middle players in this. It just enables you to re better record and to have clarity around what has happened in the, in the uh, chain of events, in the chain of transactions.